Hi everyone, this is Bernadette from the Sachin Public Library here to show you how to use FamilySearch.org. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a free account and start with your family tree. In the coming weeks, there'll be a video on how to use the FamilySearch database to find records. We're going to start by going to FamilySearch.org and then we're going to go to the top right and click Create Account. Here we're going to put in our first and last names and our birth date and gender and press continue. Then we're going to create a unique username. So the one that I wanted is already taken, but they suggest using this one instead. Then I'm going to create a password and choose a recovery option. I suggest choosing email because in order to create an account, FamilySearch.org is going to send you a confirmation link and it's easier through email. And then I'm going to select United States as my location. And finally, I'm going to agree to the terms of use and click create account. So in order to activate my new FamilySearch account, I need to go to my email and click on the registration link that FamilySearch sent me. The email should look something like this. Complete your family search account registration from no reply. So I'm going to click to open it. And then click on complete registration. So now I can sign in with that username and password that I created. And press sign in. This brings me to the family search homepage. From here, I have a couple different options. I can go straight to my family tree. I can begin searching for my ancestors. I can enter memories and stories about my ancestors. I can volunteer for indexing projects, or I can look at family activities. But to start, Family Search recommends that I add some family members. So I'm going to click Add Father, and that brings me to my family tree. From here, I can add my parents, spouse, and children. So I'm going to start by adding my parents. Here, I would enter any information that I have for him. And because he is still living, he will remain private, meaning that other users can't see his information on my tree. While I start entering birth date and place, you'll see that they come up with formatting suggestions. So if my dad was born on January 1st, 1970, they suggest this format. And if he was born in Farmingville, they suggest this format. And then I'm going to press next and create person. Once I have created a new person, I can then add their parents. Other than adding people to my family tree, I can use the options on the left to customize how it looks. So if I click on the drop down, I can choose portrait, fan chart, or descendancy. I can toggle full screen mode. I can zoom in or out. And of course I can move around the tree. The home button will take me back. And if I had a larger tree and wanted to recenter it, I would click the recenter button. To, back, to get back to the menu, I'll click menu. Once you've filled out your family tree, it should look something like this. And similar to Ancestry.com, FamilySearch gives you hints for records that they think might match your ancestors. These hints show up as blue icons, so if we click on it, we can then view the hint and decide if we want to attach it to our family tree. If it's not a match for my ancestor, I'll simply click not a match. To help keep things organized, Family search requires that you explain why you think that a record isn't a match. So I'm going to put Henry Carey Ibbotson never lived in Mississippi and press save. If there's a record that I think does match an ancestor in my tree, I'm going to click on the hint, then click on the record, and click review and attach. Here, I'm going to add any new information that the record gives me, such as the date of his military service and his residence at the time. 
And again, to keep things organized, I'm going to give a reason to attach this source. and press attach. Then to get back to my tree, I'm going to click return to family tree. If I would like to view the profile of one of my ancestors, I could simply click on their name and then click on person. This brings me to their profile where I can add a life sketch, view their vital information and add an edit if I need to. If there were any hints, they would show up under research help. I could search for this ancestor by clicking on family search. I can track any changes that I made to this person. I can find similar people or possible duplicates, or delete the person if I'm no longer sure they existed. I could also print out their pedigree or family trees if I'd like. So if I wanted to print out of their pedigree, I would simply click pedigree, and I could add any information that I would like, and then print. I can also view other information that I got from records and view their family members. If there are any errors here, I would simply click the edit button. And I can always view the sources that I have attached by clicking the sources at the top. If I'm unsure of how I'm related to this person, I can click view my relationship and it'll give me a sketch of how I'm related to them, as well as letting me know that they're my third great grandfather. As well as sources, I can view a timeline of their life. and I can add and edit any information. And if I had any documentation of them, such as photos or stories or audio, I would be able to upload it in the Memories tab. And that's it. Watch out for that video on how to search the FamilySearch database in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching and happy researching.